everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is Wednesday, March 6, 2019. I'm in a library study room right now because I have a little bit of time to kill before the Save Route 22 protest. By the time you're watching this, the protest would have already happened. For those of you that aren't from the Bay Area, VTA, which is the transit agency here, runs a route called the 22, which runs from Eastridge to Palo Alto and it runs 24 seven. And a lot of homeless people use that route as shelter. So tonight at midnight, we're gonna be having a rally and then we're gonna be riding the bus up to Palo Alto to try to get VTA to save the route. So right now it's about nine o'clock. So I still have about two hours until I need to leave. So I've just been doing some homework and drinking some coffee to keep myself awake because it's gonna be a very long night. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna sleep at all tonight, but this is totally worth losing a night of sleepover because I think this route needs to stay open all night because people rely on it for shelter and people use it to go to work. And I voted for Measure B in 2016, which promised better service. And this doesn't seem like better service to me. I'm gonna be out there tonight fighting against this and holding my representatives accountable. But now I'm gonna get back to doing my homework because I actually have an assignment that's due at 11.45. So it's a bit later now. I finished my homework and now I'm trying to find some cardboard to make a sign for the rally. I know a place where I can probably find some, but it was raining all day so I'm kind of worried that it's all gonna be soaked. Hopefully I can find some dry cardboard. So I dug through the dumpster. I found this piece of cardboard. It's a little bit damp, but I think it'll do the job. So now I'm gonna go back to the library and try to find a marker, and then I'm gonna make my sign. So this is my finished sign. It's very makeshift and DIY, but I did the best that I could with some dumpster cardboard and a pen. It's currently almost 10.40 p.m., so I'm gonna head to City Hall soon to catch 22 to go to Eastridge, and I'll try to record some clips while I'm there. So I just left the library and I'm walking to the bus now. San Jose City Hall is behind me. And we must not stop. The union folks out here, but one of the things that we've been advocating for, obviously, is to keep the 22 going all along. And to us, it's as much about the homeless as it is about some of the other things that VTA has done with the Measure B money. And the Measure B money was meant to serve the underprivileged and the unserved. And to us, there's no greater example of underprivileged and unserved than some of the folks that need the Route 22. Not only does it help the homeless folks, <laughs> Keep warm, be safe for whatever reason. Uh, I've driven the line. There's many people here who have driven the line, and we've had a connection with those folks. We've seen some, you know, mother and daughter come in for a few days because of a domestic violence issue, and we've seen them night after night, and then they would get into a place where they're in a better place. But for us, it's also about some of the people who need this line. Nancy spoke in front of the board as an operator. Uh, some folks need this line. It, it's, it's, they can't afford an Uber or a Lyft. Their job, they, they're mm -hmm. bartenders, domestic mm -hmm. uh, workers, working in the houses, cleaning houses, cleaning factories, cleaning you know stores or whatever these people are doing at night. They can't get home to the east side without the 22. So it's more than just the homeless for us, but it's as much about the homeless as it is anything else as well. So we just think it's a travesty that this is a $500,000 it would cost to keep VTA, for VTA to keep this going. And it's a travesty to cut it when your general manager makes over $400,000 if you can consider all of her perks. So let's get our priorities right, VTA, and keep the 22 going. Oh my Lord! So I just got off the bus, I'm back at SJSU, and now I'm just waiting for a lift to go home. And the city is completely silent right now, it's so weird. So I just got home, it's 3.36 a.m. And I have to wake up in like three and a half hours to get my shot. So I'm gonna go to bed now and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. So it's a few days later now and I just wanted to update you all on what happened after the rally. And I wanna talk about how all of you can help us to preserve this route. So I guess technically on the same day as the rally on the 7th, 
a bunch of us went to the BTA board meeting and spoke out against the cuts. I think there were probably over a dozen people that made public comments, which was so awesome. There's usually only about a handful of us that actually show up and make comments. I didn't record anything while I was at the board meeting, but the whole board meeting was recorded, so I'll put a link to that down in the description below. I think our public comments start around 20 or 30 minutes, so just skip ahead a little bit. Most people made comments about preserving Route 22 and comments that were against other cuts in general. In my public comment, I specifically talked about how VTA is funded by taxpayers and how these cuts are not what I want as a taxpayer. And then I think that the VTA board should try to understand more about what their riders go through. Yeah, I specifically mentioned Route 22 and also Route 65, which serves my school and Cambrian, which is where I live. And I asked the board to take their buses and specifically take the routes that are proposed to be discontinued or cut and talk to their riders while they're riding those buses so that they can understand what we go through and why these routes are important to us. They didn't respond to any of the comments some of the board members look like they cared, some of the board members look like they didn't care, but I guess we just have to wait and see what they decide to do in May. But for now, if you do want to get involved and you do want to help, we have been circulating a petition on change.org. This is a petition, we're pretty close to 700 signatures, so be sure to send this if you haven't already, the link will be in the description below. And you can also come and give a public comment at the next VTA board meeting, which is on April 4th. The agenda hasn't been released yet, but it will probably be at 70 West Heading Street in San Jose. If anything changes, I'll update the description of this video, and I'll tweet something, so be sure to follow me on Twitter at Monica Mallon. I know the board meetings seem kind of intimidating, but they are really the best way to directly address the board, and I think it's our job as taxpayers to hold hold our representatives accountable and to hold these boards accountable. So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to say. If you have any questions or if you want to help, then comment down below or message me. We really need people to stand up against this because people don't deserve to be left out in the cold and people deserve to have transit that serves their neighborhood. I voted for every single transportation sales tax measure and the transit in my area and the entire valley just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And I'm actually trying to do something about it and I just want to encourage all of you to do the same. Obviously, I think voting is really important. I literally they have all these AIGA vote posters up here. I think that holding your representatives accountable after election day is equally important. So I just want to encourage all of you to do that. I'm not going to lie, this has been taking up a lot of my time over the past few months, but thankfully this time I've not been doing it alone. I've received so much support from the Cambrian community and so many other people. So shout out to everyone who came to the rally, shout out to everyone who came to the board meeting, shout out to service providers for getting involved, and shout out to ATU for standing with riders. I really appreciate everyone who's taking a stand against these cuts and actually doing something. And hopefully one of you that's watching this video right now will decide to do something about this too. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.